Hi everyone. Are you a mom that is navigating the complexities of parenting a defiant adult child? Today I want to dive into the five biggest mistakes that I believe moms make when parenting an adult child. And I want you to know that these are also these five things that I did incorrectly. So I'm not just speaking to you here. This is something that I personally made the same mistakes. And so I'm curious to hear at the end, how many of these do you resonate with? How many of these do you think that maybe you're doing? So stay tuned. For those of you that are new here to my channel, I just want to welcome you. My name is Sally Harris, and I am a mom who walked the same difficult road with my own daughter for over a decade. And when her life spiraled, so did mine. And I promise you, it does not have to be that way. And I truly believe that it starts with these five, taking a look at these five mistakes and see which ones resonate with you, which ones apply to you, which ones are you possibly doing or maybe have done in the past. So the first one is over controlling, right? We always tend to try to control our children's lives, not because we are a control freak, although I was, and many of you have told me you are too, but whether you are or not, we don't do it intentionally. We do it because we've always been there. We've always been the one to pick up the pieces, always been the one to care for them. And when they grow up into adults, it's a little bit different because we're hindering their independence by doing this, right? Inadvertently. We over control um, in different situations in their life. We meddle in those kinds of things and trying to control things to keep them good and well. Uh, so that is definitely number one. Number two is enabling. You've heard me talk about this many, many times. But enabling behavior, you know, in the context of dealing with a defiant adult child is only pushing them the other direction. Remember helping versus enabling and what's the difference? I've got a video on that. You know, I want you to think about what are some strategies you could do to, to break that enabling cycle and encourage responsibility for your son, son or daughter because that's truly what they need, right? Um, in fact, you know what? I know that these are hard to hear sometimes and I don't want you to take this personally. I want you to hopefully open your eyes to see maybe what your part in the process is. And the sooner we can acknowledge which of these five are us, things can start to change. So if you and I have never chatted before, uh, you can click the link below to the discovery call and uh, that's an opportunity for a consultation and we can talk more about your situation and how I can help. All right, number three is lack of boundaries. You know, as our children are growing up, it is really important that we set clear and healthy boundaries, even with adult children, in the sense of A, if they're living in your home, you absolutely have boundaries, right? And even if they're not, you could have boundaries around, you know, time, you could have boundaries around finances, you can have boundaries around babysitting. I know a lot of you are, are grandmas. Um, so with that, having those healthy boundaries. and you really need to establish those boundaries and communicate them effectively to your son or daughter. Number four is poor communication. This is a big one, and this is probably one that almost every mom that I have worked with or talked to are, is dealing with this in some fashion, including myself. I definitely was not good at this. But the role of communication is vital in any strong relationship, whether it's your child, your spouse, your friend, it doesn't matter. But there's a lot of pitfalls, such as talking at them instead of talking with them. And there's lots, I have videos out there on this too. But I want you to just think about that. Are, is your communication, are you telling them, suggesting what they do, or are you asking for advice? Are you taking a step back and letting them try to navigate and figure out their own issues? And if they come to you and say, hey mom, what do you think? Hey mom, I need your advice. Then by all means, they've asked for it, right? But as adults, we don't want to just continue to offer all of this um, unsolicited. And I just want you to know number five is a big one that you hear me talk about a lot and it's about self-care. And you know what? Ignoring self-care is an issue. You ignoring taking care of yourself is an issue. And so it is very significant that all of you are dealing, I mean, you're all dealing with challenging family dynamics or you wouldn't be here, right? Or you have a friend that is. But neglecting self-care, it makes the situation worse because you are likely going to communicate um, less effectively, 
You're probably going to let your guard down on your boundaries. You're probably going to let your guard down on enabling, right? So by you taking care of you, you're going to be stronger. So you're going to be able to set these things and not make these same mistakes over and over again. And so I just want to tell you that I want to encourage you and empower you to reflect on your own experiences and identify which of these five are in your parenting. And the self-compassion and grace that you need to give yourself, whether you say I have one or I have five, it doesn't matter. I want you to give yourself some grace because it doesn't mean you're a bad mom. We're human, right? But these are the kinds of things that we need to work through and improve at. And so when you're ready to do that, things are gonna to start to change. And so I look forward to that discovery call with you if we haven't had it already. Um, but I just want you to know this is, these are just some, these are five of, of many mistakes we can make as parents, right? But these are the five big ones that I, that I made and also that I feel uh, can really help navigate the relationship to come back together, at least on your part. We don't have control over what our son or daughter does, but you do have control over you and how you handle situations. So I hope that helps you and I'll see you next time.